Hey yo, what's up everyone? Pasay Baller here. This is now the third game for today, March 11, 2023. So we will now be talking about this game between Miami Heat and Orlando Magic. And that will happen at around um, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And by the way, the spread that is given here is minus 2.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team. That's, that's the Miami Heat. Now, let's check on the standings and the rankings of both teams. Both belong to the Eastern Conference. For Miami Heat, they are at number 7 with a record of 36 wins and 32 losses. While for Orlando Magic, they are at number 13. Um, they are 4 games behind number 10. A bit tough, but mathematically possible um, to make it to the top 10 or to make it to the playoffs. Uh, their record is at 27 wins and 40 losses. Alright, so uh, let's talk about this one. Orlando Magic, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, Orlando Magic would also have the advantage because uh, last night the Heat had a game. It was a great game against uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, man. That was crazy. Um, in terms of momentum, though... Uh, Orlando Magic, they're coming off a three-game losing streak, man. Three-game losing streak, man. And they are in a situation now where they need to pile those wins. What a situation. Well, Miami Heat, they actually just won last night, so we got to give it to Miami Heat. In terms of their form, the Heat, uh, they have won four out of their last ten, while Orlando... Um, Doing the same thing, four out of their last ten. So, uh, with the you know with the fact that Miami just won last night, and with the fact that Orlando um, is ha on a slump lately, I'm gonna still side with uh, Miami Heat on this you know on this particular uh, aspect. Now let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Um, for Jonathan Isaac. It has been mentioned in the previous uh, videos that um, he's been out for the rest of the season. Uh, Duncan Robinson is listed as uh, questionable, while Kyle Lowry is expected to play on this particular game. Although it's still not yet confirmed, but he is listed as probable uh, to suit up and uh, play for Miami Heat. That will be a huge lift for Miami Heat, man, for sure. All right, so let's talk about this one. Um, a, a lot of people would be actually uh, choosing Orlando Magic on this one because of two things, um, home court and more importantly, um, fatigue. We have to understand Orlando Magic, they're one of the youngest teams in the league. And so um, if they're actually uh, having the advantage in terms of fatigue because of uh, running and all that, because again, Miami Heat, they might be tired, their legs must be tired. Orlando Magic uh, is, is really indeed uh, you know, a good team to side on. But man, uh, we have to understand, um, um, despite the fact that my, Miami Heat is at number 7, I'm pretty sure that they are still pushing for more. Um, uh, all teams who are at number 7 to 10, they still have this chance to, you know, uh, um, to not make it over. Um, so I'm pretty sure since the, since the Heat are, are, they are at number 7, Lowry is back, I'm pretty sure that they would actually push hard to at least have a chance to make it to the uh, one to six, you know, one to six, an auto, an, an auto in, so to speak. Um, and unlike if you're gonna go through that seven to ten puzzle, anything can, anything can still happen. Well, for Orlando Magic, I'm sure that they would also do what they can, because of course they would want to give it a shot to make it to the number ten. I think, I think Miami Heat's um, experience and talent would be enough uh, for them to uh, get the W. And the spread of minus two point five for me is not that much. So I'm gonna side with Miami Heat here. Um, I also see Kevin Love as a good addition in, uh, as a good addition um, in this um, in this particular uh, team. I see Love and their coach uh, talking a lot. So um, I'm re I'm really liking what I'm seeing right now for Miami, and I think they would actually win and cover the spread. So my pick would be Heat minus two point five. That's Miami minus two point five. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.